Would you give it up for the host of Have I Got News For You, my friend Roy Wood Jr. <laughs> So glad you are back. You are back Thank with you your for show, me, friend. I, and I, I'm just I'm glad you're back. But I had a good time with you uh, two weekends ago when we uh, co-hosted the Phoenix Awards. Why you touch that lady? Why you? You know she reached out her hands to me. What is your Why picture? Why did look? you touch the vice president? She did like this. She said, "Sherry, what did she do to you?" Let me show you my picture. Show okay. Show my picture. <laughs> You keep them arms in the front. You didn't I, <laughs> hey, when you take a picture with them, you gotta treat it like a mug shot. You, just like... okay. <laughs> you didn't feel like you didn't feel like slipping your arm around, no, President. No, no, and also Joe Biden's fragile. I don't wanna just reach around. He's a good president, but he's fragile. You don't, okay. want to, you don't want to be the one that touch Joe or did he? <laughs> and something happened. I keep, I, I, keep it, I keep it right in front. And you got it. And you look good, Roy. You look <laughs> good when you was doing it. Oh, thank you. Now, you've done this before. You're, you're, you're very uh, studied at this. I've never performed in front of that many politicians before. Is it always, like, r rowdy and, and talking? The Congressional Black Caucus is a little different because it's a collection of all of our esteemed black leaders and yes. people who lead nonprofits and journalists. So it's like one of the few times they get to see each other. So they just talk to each other the whole time it's while the like show is going on. Big family and, reunion. Yeah, and they and people stop periodically when there's more revered and poignant people on the right, stage. Right, right. But it's difficult because it's DC. So you're trying to mingle and get the deals done, and then you also trying to pay attention to what's going on on the stage. And also, you gotta talk to politicians when you see them. You never know when you might get indicted. So, <laughs> so you gotta say something to people when you see them. You gotta say something when you see them. They snatching them up now, shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna talk about that later, though. Okay. We gonna get that right no now. No warning on nothing, yeah. yeah. You, gotta, you gotta make friends with people, you know, high <laughs> places. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Roy, you, it, this is perfect. I'm so happy you're back on TV. This show, Have I Got News For You, is perfect for you. Like, it, it, it really is. Y'all have to see it. You two episodes in, it's hysterically funny. I did not know that this was a British show first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's a British, it's a remake of a British show, a popular British show that's been going, it's been going for 35 seasons yeah. in Britain right now. And so CNN saw fit to figure out a way to basically do a fake news show. We basically quiz guests about the news. Myself, Amber Ruffin, and Michael Ian Black, we're the regulars on the show. Yeah. And we bring in one or two people, politicians, celeb, and we just give you a fake quiz, and it's a fun way to talk about the week that was. You didn't screamed and cried about the news for six days, yeah. laugh with us on the seventh, <laughs> and it's been fun. Now, what's been interesting, though, yeah. is that because it's a British remake, I be getting messages from British people like, <laughs> you better not mess it up, right? <laughs> that, that, that's a terrible British accent. <laughs> but they nervous, they nervous. And right. I'm just, I, just, I just tell them Brits, I reply back to them, man, we're gonna do the show, we're gonna honor the spirit of the show, which holds politicians accountable. Right. And I guarantee you, we, I'm gonna treat this show better than how y'all treated Meghan Markle. So it's okay. gonna be fun. So we got it. We good over here. Good. <laughs> she a 30 year institution as well. She was about 30 when she went over there. She about 30, that, so Meghan she a 30. Markle's a 30 year institution. Absolutely. Ain't treat her right. <laughs> you said we gonna be fine over on this yeah, side yeah. of the pond. <laughs> <laughs> now I love it because I not love Amber Ruffin, but I hear she is, is she doing a good job keeping you in line. Yeah, well, Amber Ruffin is doing a good job keeping keeping us all employed. Okay. <laughs> All right, what's she doing? You know, Amber, Amber is one of the team captains on the show, so okay. her and Michael kind of make more... For, they get a little bit more comedic leeway, but when I get a little bit out of line, you know, you've seen my Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff you say you, on Twitter you ain't supposed to say. You're not supposed to say on TV. And then on top of that, we're on CNN on a Saturday night, and they let us curse. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. but just because you can doesn't mean you, you should. should. <laughs> and that's what Amber comes in and just makes sure, hey, brother, make sure we got a job next okay. week. Okay. 
I love that. Too far. I love Amber. We love you for that. <laughs> now you know it's it, you are leading the show, which is a really big responsibility to have the, to be the leader of the show. Did you yeah. call your old boss Trevor Noah for some advice? I, I reached out to a couple of people just mm -hmm. on the responsibility of hosting a program. I know you and I had already spoke briefly when I guest hosted Daily Show, so right. I feel like I didn't need to call you again. I, I still had that conversation. Yeah, right. But the, the thing is that as a host, it's not just being in the chair, it's also managing an entire, an entire crew, yeah, and crew. I'm still learning people's names, and, <laughs> and I don't want to be rude and make people wear name tags, but I'm like... <laughs> And so I, I messaged Trevor. I'm like, yo, I just didn't know that it was all this stuff going on at the same time. I'm so sorry for bothering you. <laughs> all those times. Can you believe you gotta do this and do this and do this and then this department, one of those stuff, and you gotta get this approved? Trevor just replied back, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Give me more I than know, that. Roy. I texted Oprah one time and I was like, Oprah, it's so much stuff going on. I just need you to help me. How do I do this and blah, blah, blah? And she texts back, she goes, You know what to do. And I go, I don't oh. know what to do. I don't know what oh. to do. So I'm texting you, Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, it. That's a good time. You were talking about when we were in DC, you were talking about your mom. And I know your mom watches everything that you do and she every gives you critique about everything you do. Thing. So, what critique does she have about the new show? Uh, my mom is more concerned with me staying employed. <laughs> my mom, and I'm not, I'm not even making this up. This is my mom this morning, this morning, like less than an hour ago. Have the ratings come out for the second episode yet? <laughs> more or less from week one. <laughs> and we had a great premiere. We had a great premiere. Yes. Ratings were solid, CNN was happy. But my mom was like, is you, you still got a job? Is it going to be in week three? <laughs> Something about it, I don't think your mama wants you coming living back home. She oh. said, anything else she's saying? So this was after the first episode. Okay. My mom texted me, quote, decent content, face wasn't shiny, <laughs> but needed a little powder on your face. You kept closing your eyes before responding to a question. <laughs> Not That's it was mama. funny. Not, I liked your outfit. <laughs> Not, it was great chemistry. It, 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 we already had the I'm proud of you, son, conversations. Yes, yes. But after that comes, why get face shining? Right? <laughs> Who back there putting down, put, you put the more fire powder on your okay, face. Okay, that is a mama for yeah, you. Yeah, that's how my mom watches me. Oh, and I know she's gonna watch your fourth, because she's gonna watch this comedy special. You got your fourth, your fourth comedy special coming out on yeah. Hulu. Yeah. Four. That's your number one, two, four. three, four. The first one with Hulu, um, we just shot it in Washington, D.C. It'll be out probably in another month or two. We're still figuring out the, you know, the, the premiere date and all of that. But I I'm cannot thankful. wait. Well, it's, you know why I can't wait to see it, Roy? Because you've had so many things happen to you. Like, this is your season, but you've gone through a lot of stuff. Is that something that you brought to the stage? Yeah, I, I definitely also wanted to explore within that special the idea of connection. And I feel like so much of what's happening in society now, when we look at how we are argumentative first, yeah. we seek to continue to divide one another and try, instead of trying to come together. It's just exploring the way technology has also created that divide. Like, I hate, I don't like self-checkout. I don't like the fact that the cashier, that was the person who used to talk to crazy people <laughs> to keep you calm. That's like, th th that, something as simple as a conversation with a grocery store cashier can make you feel seen and feel a degree of connection right. with someone. And so, it's just an exploration in the ways that we've become disconnected, disconnected from one another. Disconnected from each other. Yeah. I hear you. Well, I need to touch you, because I'm so <laughs> glad we connected, Roy. Good to see you. I, Roy, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. Y'all have got to watch Have I Got News For You. It is so good. It airs Saturday nights on CNN, and it streams the next day on Max. We're gonna have a good time.